An honest, self-reflective hotel SWOT analysis. Improve yourself and your hotel. One of the most basic lessons you learn in first year business school is the SWOT analysis. Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. It's a great framework to apply to your hotel to understand what you do well, what you can improve on and where your greatest threats to your hotel lie. But how about a SWOT analysis on ourselves? Where are your poor areas? What do you struggle with? Here's a simple SWOT framework, so give it a go. Strengths. What are your strengths as a hotelier? What do you do particularly well? Or, what's your unfair advantage? Perhaps you're great with a particular departmental skill, or perhaps your distinguishing characteristic is your ability to sell your hotel. Or maybe you can work a group of hotel guests like nobody else. Knowing your strengths tells you what added value you can uniquely bring to your hotel. Weaknesses. You might be a terrible planner, or you might gossip far too much, or you might dread stepping foot outside your hotel, but you might also feel uncomfortable admitting it or talking about your weaknesses. However, unacknowledged weaknesses are hotel killers. They slowly eat away at the core of your hotel with little hope of ever changing the situation. So pay particular attention to weaknesses as you do your personal SWOT and be as honest as possible with yourself as you do. Opportunities. Opportunities can be chances to build on your strengths and rectify your weaknesses, either through self-improvement or by adding additional members to the team with complementary skills. But of course, opportunities can only be leveraged if weaknesses are recognised and acknowledged. Yet another reason that honesty is so essential in the process of conducting your personal SWOT. And finally, threats. Threats can come from multiple sources. Your skills may lo no longer fit the needs of the hotel you run. You might face competition from others who do have these skills and if you're unable to acknowledge and work on your weaknesses while at the same time leveraging and accentuating your strengths, you could find yourself in a difficult professional position. A threat might be that you as a leader lack the self-awareness or courage to look at yourself and conduct an honest self-reflective hotel SWOT analysis in the first place. Doing an honest self-reflective personal SWOT analysis is useful for anyone at any stage of their career, but it's especially useful for hotel managers who need such a wide-ranging set of skills to achieve their goals and find success in their hotels. Have you conducted a personal SWOT analysis? If not, why not? Speak to you soon.